the trouble is with a lot of golfers, they really feel like they need to flick at the ball to get it airborne. They see an iron blade and they think, I need to kind of give this some help. So everything that they do is engineered towards that. They kind of put their weight on their right, they lean back, they flick up, and then what happens is they hit the ground first, or they thin through it, and it doesn't give them the desired result. But this is really simple. This isn't going to take you long. Everything you think you need to do with an iron, if that is you, is the opposite. I'll show you what I mean. What we're looking for instead is everything on the right flicking up. Let's reverse that. Okay. First thing, we need to fundamentally make sure we've got our grip right. So we need to make sure that our grip is in the forefinger resting on the pad of that grip there to give us a nice V pointing to our right shoulder. Then we can just place our hand on over the top and we're good to go. Okay. Now from there, setup is key. So this is 151 yards to the centre. The flag's a bit further on than that. That's going to be about a 9-iron for me comfortably. I don't want to rip at this too much because of one of the tips I'm going to give you here. So we need to set up ball roughly in the middle of our stance. Make sure the feet are nicely apart, not too narrow, not too wide. Just nice width apart, shoulder width apart, I would say. Now, to give us a bit more control and give us that steeper, we want a steeper angle of attack, not a leaning back angle of attack. We want to grip down a bit, so I want my thumb touching the G of my golf pride like so. Okay, so now I can move forward slightly. Now when I'm swinging, I'm not going to try and lash this really long, I just want a nice kind of swing to the top and then as I'm turning through with my hips, make sure that I feel like I'm hitting beyond the ball. Okay, I'm actually going to go for a kind of Tommy Fleetwood follow through here where I don't wrap all the way around, I just want to three quarters through. That's going to give me control, it's giving me downward blow and it's going to give me the shot strike I want where the ball's going to go up in the air. So let's try it with this first one. So on the G, grip is solid, ball in the middle of the stance, weight a bit more on the left side. I want that three quarter punchy feeling with this. Oh man, that is, I wish I had a down the line camera. That's, that's right at it. A little short, but that was nice. So we'll just do another one, see if we can get a little bit closer. But you can see it down the line this time. So I've got my grip sorted here. Gripping down it a bit. Nice in the middle of the stance. Weight on the left a bit. And we're going for the downward strike. Three quarters, Tommy Fleetwood. And it's middle of the green. That wasn't a great strike. But it's up there. If you try that technique, so stop keeping your weight back and flicking at it keep your weight over it more, go for the kind of three-quarter Tommy Fleetwood follow through where you're getting a punchy strike, you're going to start hitting down on it, you're going to start clipping it off more nicely and you're going to start seeing the ball flying higher and you'll stop topping your iron shots. Thanks for watching, if you like that video and you want more tips like that then be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.